Writing a song <clears throat> can be very easy at times, and it can be very difficult. There are so many ways you can approach writing a song. Uh, it can start off with just lyrics, just writing a story about something or someone, or it could be based on poetry. So, for instance, if you're writing hip-hop, and you're writing your rap, writing the hip-hop music and you're writing a rap, it might just be poetry. It might be just lyrics that you, you like to, to write and, and have it rhyme. And then later on, you take that and try to fit it into somebody's beat or production. Or somebody could give you a track, and then you can write to it. Or as far as like writing a ballad or something like that, it could be just, it could start out you can start out writing a song just based on something, an experience that you've had before, or somebody can give you a topic to write about. And you, you start that way with no music. Maybe you just start writing lyrics and then later on maybe add a melody. Some people start from scratch with nothing until they hear a track or hear the record and then get inspiration that way, writing to a certain groove, hearing the different instruments, hearing the chord changes, hearing maybe certain melodies in the song and then start creating the lyrics and the melody based on that. So again, there's so many different ways you can approach writing a song. For me, it's just whatever happens at the time. Sometimes I might have a certain groove in my head and then I just start coming up with certain lyrics or so, sometimes I just might want to write certain situations that I'm seeing that's going on in my environment or that's happening in my life or somebody else's life and then start creating chords based on that and then come up with a melody or write the melody first and then come up with the chords maybe then drop the bass line, or just come up with a drum track and then start building from that point. I think as far as writing music, it's still the same. I think as far as writing a song, it's still uh, the same. I think it could be very easy or it can be ex very, very hard, depending on the song, depending on um, how the flow is going with the song, if you have collaborators. you know, I think today, a lot of the artists who are very, very um, popular, even though they're like super popular and are making a, a lot of money, a lot of people don't even know that like there are like 10 to 15 people that have worked with that artist on one record, writing one record. I think before the whole digital age came about, I don't think it was like that. I think like in the, you know, in the 60s and the 70s, and, you know, with, with artists like Ray Charles and, and Aretha Franklin, and, you know, people like that, and like, they wrote them their songs like themselves, the majority of it, you know what I mean? Or if they had a collaborator, it was like one or two people. Now it's a whole room of people that come in and work on one record. And really the artists are the only people that really, really get the credit. The producer maybe as well. And you might see their name on the back of a of a CD or, you know, on iTunes credit or something like that, but you won't ever hear about their name really that much like on TV or on the radio. They're not gonna say on the radio station, this p record was written by these seven people, you know what I mean? So, it's definitely easier, I think, to, in, in today's world.